we are so excited to start this workout. It's actually cold right now. We just took our jackets off, but let's go and let's get ready for this workout. And we're taking y'all with us. Boom. another video it has been a while today is time for another leg day we want to show you guys what we've been switching up to try and get more of a leg burn and glute burn in one <laughs> yes but we are actually heading to the gym right now and so it's a beautiful Friday today and the Sun is out and it is getting a lot colder so it feels good to get going we're now in the car to go to the gym and so today we wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about how sometimes you can struggle with your mindset. We all have those days that we wake up and we just need a little extra motivation to get to the gym, to get up, to do something beneficial for yourself, make a routine, and be on track. So um, Brittany is going to fill us in with some of the things she does to so help her mindset. What I've noticed the hardest part is just getting out of that mindset and what I've noticed is when I am not feeling the greatest at all what helps me feel the best is getting up and doing it even though I feel like I don't want to because I noticed how much of an impact it makes on my workout for example um, I feel 10 times better after and so my tip of advice would be to just push through whether you feel like it or not and what I notice is it always helps me feel better and get out of that mindset and I end up working harder than I ever imagined. And she really is right about that. I've noticed myself that the workouts that I feel like I don't have enough energy for end up being the best workouts and also because you prove yourself wrong. So I want to challenge you guys to prove yourself wrong more often and continue to show up for yourself and have that self-love. That is very, very important. So y'all got this. Stay tuned for this workout. It's gonna be an uplifting and motivational one and we're gonna kill it for these games. A couple hundred miles away Denying that something has changed You're blaming me to complicate it But I will never stay the same So I will drive and drive and drive and drive So we just finished the low set squats and what we did was we targeted, we put that step down there that way we could make sure like whenever we are going up weight, weight that we are going low enough because I realized that the more weight you do, your legs tend to forget to go as low. So we used that um, when we touched, we knew that we were going low. It's just a way to hold yourself accountable to make sure you're going low every single time. So grab the lowest one and use it to go as low as possible. As far as weight, we increased 10 each time and we started with 20 reps, 18, 15, 12. Yes, and you will feel the burn in this one. curtsy lunge I noticed that it does work the outside of your glutes key factor to this is to make sure you are planting your foot down and do not worry about speed the slower you go the more control that you will have to complete it successfully and what I noticed about this is it really helps you focus on your balance so go lighter in weight and focus on going lower we're focusing on reps here and just going as low as possible and focusing on our balance So all you need for 
this one is a bench and four sets go as deep as you can on these lunges increase weight each time the best way to do this correctly is to make sure that your foot like where your toes are are at the edge of the bench and your striding leg that is reached out make sure it is out far enough that way you are able to go low enough same concept as the curtsy lunge we're focusing on depth here and also planting that foot really helps mm -hmm. focus on the routine of the exercise Sometimes our dominant leg takes over and more weight is in that leg. So key to this one is to make sure you have whichever leg you're trying to work out a little bit further in front of the other leg. You're gonna feel it in your glutes and your hamstrings more this way. That is the point of having your foot slightly forward. And the leg that is slightly forward is the leg that is gonna feel the burn. So push through on this one and you will feel it every day. So this completes our leg day. So what we did here with our quads for the leg extension was we focused on one single leg. We're isolating the legs mm -hmm. to help focus with the form. So go um, low in weight, high reps. This will help you build those quads. And so what you're gonna do is superset the leg extension with the hamstring extension. So hamstring extensions are definitely harder to do single leg. I encourage you to do it if you're able to with low rate, high, low weight, high reps. However, I do find it more beneficial to do both. And you'll really feel it burn all the way from your calves all the way up your hamstrings. So. Yes. And make sure to superset these because Something, you will, Sorry, one more thing. Something that helps me on the hamstring extension is to arc my back a little bit out. That way my hamstrings are really getting the full effect of the weight. Yes. And as I was saying, make sure and superset those two to end your workout and you will feel the success of leg day. So here completes the leg day. Subscribe for more and keep watching with us. We want y'all to grow with us. Thank you for watching and tune into the next video to come on along with the fun line. See you guys next time.